So I was married to a 90 year old lady before. We ended up consummating the marriage. So what happened? after all that what up though j nation it's your boy j pitch you are watching j nation tv and boy this one is definitely for the books i'm gonna let y'all see the whole clip but i had to react to this one because i feel like there are a bunch of sides to it that <laughs> it's just so much to unpack but before we get into anything make sure you drop a like on this video also make sure you subscribe i used to work in psych wards for like seven years so i have a pretty good amount of experience with the homeless population with the mentally ill population with the elderly population and how these paths can even cross like in this story so i love reacting to stories like that i also make music and i shoot my own videos and i'm an independent artist i got a family i like to travel i be cooking and doing some stuff sometimes so if you just like overall to be entertained with wholesome content you made it to the right place but let's get into the video So you heard it right, this young man got married to a 90 year old, but not for the reasons that you would think. I don't know what reasons you would think, actually not that I think about it, but here's the clip and then let's talk about it. So I was married to a 90 year old lady before. Gonna say this right now, I've talked about this before, but I'm gonna give you guys a summary just in case you guys don't know. I was homeless at the prior age of 18. I had just beaten a very horrifying battle on my body with a very debilitating disease and my mother had kicked me out immediately. So I was like, well, this sucks. So after I got kicked out, I was homeless, living behind a bakery and visiting a hospital. Ended up hanging out with this old lady. She said, hey, I would like to spend the last few years of my life with somebody young and handsome. Would you like to spend the last days with me and i said sure 100 percent ended up getting married to a 90 year old lady she housed me it was nice we ended up doing a lot of events we were hiking we were camping we did a whole bunch of fun stuff it was amazing this is around the winterish time so we had to actually travel and do a lot of things it was amazing it was fun she ended up passing ended up getting her house and things of that nature so that's the summary of everything a lot to throw at you but i just want to talk about the aftermath there's a lot of everything because everybody always asks what happened after it firstly grandchildren everybody always asks about the grandchildren they hated me there was no question about how much they despised me they didn't enjoy me at all they said you're garbage you're a piece of trash i hate you i hope nothing good happens with you i'm just like well <laughs> curse my name why don't you quite all right didn't really mind that so after all that happened i ended up having to go through this whole legal battle this whole legal process about this entire situation after a legal battle happened i was like well i win because we ended up consummating the marriage things of that variety one i'm gonna point this out right now margaret for the sake of rest i'm gonna call her today margaret was not a groomer she helped me out You've probably never been homeless before. It's horrifying. It sucks. You don't want to be out in the cold in winter. It was terrifying. And that's basically the situation there. So what happened after all that? Why don't I have the house? You're probably thinking to yourself, well, th th this is the house. That, this is the house. This is not the house. This is not the house. This is, I, this was, I was like 10 years ago, maybe at this point, 10, nine years ago. No, this is not the house. The house, I sold it. Sold the house because it was huge. It's a big house. Couldn't deal with cleaning all that. I'm not going to clean a house that big. Also, she had a bunch of animals. She had like nine cats, a bunch of like lizards, a dog. I ended up giving the house, I uh, ended up giving the cats and stuff away to neighbors around the house to kids and things of that nature. I didn't keep any of the animals. Didn't keep any of them. Couldn't take care of them. I'm not going to be homeless with an animal that's goofy. Like if, I, if I'm homeless with a dog, I'm worrying about the wrong roof. Really, I am. So I'm not going to do that. So after that, I ended up having a great amount of money, not only from, you know, the life insurance, things, that variety, or from also selling the stuff in our house and the house itself. So I was like, hmm, well, 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 what am I going to do? Moved immediately to Vegas. You probably think to yourself, oh, you gambled the money away. I didn't gamble the money away. I didn't gamble all the money away. What am I, a coward, a scoundrel, a fiend, a rap scallion? No, I didn't do that. What I did initially was think to myself, how can I put this money to be used lucratively? No, I gave the money to people at diners. I gave it to people that were struggling, homeless people, just people that were in my situation, people that would never see this amount of money ever. I just gave it away because I felt like my life was already downhill. I lost somebody I had actually learned to love. I was in an emotional distress. I was in a depressive state. My life was horrifyingly bad at that point. I went to Vegas because that was the only place where I know everything was sinful. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go to Vegas and go out there. After I went to Vegas, horrifying aspects happened. After I went to Vegas, crazy things happened. And I won't talk about that right now. I'll talk about that in another story. But that's the aftermath of me being married to a 90-year-old lady. So if you're curious about what happened after that, that's what happened. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments down below. That's my life.
So that's wild, right? So first off, having a life-threatening disease at 18, then getting kicked out the house by your moms is crazy, but stuff happens. He was chilling behind the bakery. He gives more context in other videos because this video went kind of crazy um, on TikTok and people were asking all a bunch of questions. So he followed up with some insights and whatnot. So the relationship only lasted like two months. He met her in the hospital um, because he would come to the hospital because it was free to get in there and he could get free popcorn as he'd go to like uh, wherever they serve stuff at. And it's a good place. Like homeless people, they come to the hospital to get resources sometimes they say hey i want to unalive myself and that's how they used to end up in the psych wards that i worked in um and you can get three hots in a cot so it's a good little tactic street tactic to get yourself warm and out the winter cold um but while he was there he befriended some people would eat food with them uh even exchange pills uh, uh, you know, his means of survival was his means of survival. And so when he befriended this old lady, they end up getting cool. And she said, and here's the context that we need as well, because I'm like, why would this old lady want to marry you unless she was senile or it's some type of get out stuff going on? And that don't mean either of those aren't true either. And he's homeless. So I'm looking at bro like, hey, you already probably doing some crazy things to survive. So this ain't really that crazy to me, to me. So he marries her. She does not like her children or grandchildren because they just want her for her money, apparently, as she's reaching her last days. That's what she's that's what he said she said to him. Okay. And so then the relationship lasts two months. Like he said, they go hiking, they do things together, he helps to take care of her. Somewhere or another he found love in her. Now, I don't know what y'all think about that, but if you think about somebody that has um, brought you out of a circumstance allowed you to live with them like all of the things it's only up from there like even consummation <laughs> like <laughs> you need to think about that if you was homeless if you had nowhere to go and there was a 90 year old lady fellas you know what i'm saying or or ladies if that's your thing right and you knew that more money was on the other side of things for you what would you do if you think about him being as young as he was Getting all of that money can probably can maybe really be a curse for you. It can just bring out your vices because there's a lot of people like, bro, you could have set, set yourself up. You could have did this, that and the third. And he even responds to that. So I'll link his uh, page and the link to his TikTok in the description so you can guys can go check it out for yourself and hear it from the horse's mouth. But I just think that, you know, he had to do what he had to do. And the old lady, man, that is one way to really stick it, <laughs> stick it to your kids and your grandkids. Um, and it just seems like, like the bad karma of a prior slave owner. <laughs> like, oh yeah, one day your family's inheritance is gonna get left to some random black kid that don't care about none of y'all values. <laughs> At least that's just me. I'm, I mean, whoever it was, you know. They ancestors is turning in their grave, man, because he went, he squandered that money, man. He said he gave it to waitresses. He gave it to homeless people in his situation. <laughs> He spent it on frivolous things that he had no business spending it on because one, he said he was young, but two, he said he felt guilty like to have all of this money for him not to be able to share it with the person that gave it to him and he felt like he didn't deserve it. And it sucks because I don't know, I think all the money's gone, but um, it looks like he's doing better than what he was when he was homeless, you know? So he had to do what he had to do at the time, but marrying a 90 year old woman. If I was in his position, I'm not gonna lie, I would do it. I would do it because you get a new lease on life. 18, 19, you got your whole life ahead of you. You know, she don't. Let's just keep it a stack. She don't. And so with that, you can take that and make lemonade out of lemons, out of some pretty bad lemons and you getting some good ass lemonade. But let's check out some of these comments. Let's see what some people had to say. Honestly, bro, marrying her was probably the best thing for both of you because she actually got some companionship. Okay, I can rock with that. What's really sad is she probably greatly enjoyed her final years and grandkids were mad she wasn't going to leave them with her money that was hers. And that's the thing too, like, she must have really hated them grandkids and the grandkids he said really hated him. Can you imagine? You can really disrupt the reality of an American white family, especially if you have an older woman with this young black guy and he said they was consummating. So if he living with her and she's like, she don't care. She like, it is what it is. Y'all can do whatever. I'm about to enjoy my life. And they coming over or whatnot, seeing him. And then after she passes, for him to have the legal and marital right to move in the favor of himself is wild. And all they can do is sit back and watch in horror. What a nightmare for them. Looking at it from their perspectives, of course they hate him. Why wouldn't they? But I don't know what type of beef they got with Granny. I'm just looking at bro like, hey, a win's a win. 
a win's a win. Got to see it through, my boy. God yep. damn it. Uh, uh, uh. I had sex with it. Somebody said her grandchildren watching this with even more confusion and hatred. <laughs> Facts. If they see this video, this story, they got to deny all claims, all connections. Like, ooh. Somebody said, bro's grandpa lore is going to be crazy. That is wild. Legally, he is like a stepdad and a grandfather to her grandkids and her children. That is the craziest thing right there. Now, that is pretty wild. So next time they talk crazy, he can be like, uh, 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 excuse me, grandson, respect. <laughs> <laughs> but what do y'all think about this man this was a crazy one for me let me know your thoughts in the comment section please don't forget to leave a like on this video and be sure to subscribe i'll catch you in the next video j pitts out